Hello and welcome to another one of my lead code videos. In this one, we'll do lead code 68 text justification. And basically, this is a classical problem to justify the text. And what we need to do here is use a greedy approach. So we're given a max width of the maximum width that a line can be. And we need to fit as many words in there as possible, starting from the start. And, you know, if we can't fit the next word anymore. We have to s occupy the whole space by putting in blank spaces in between the words. If it has more than one word, we'll fill it with spaces in between. If it has only one word, then we fill it out with spaces at the end, right? And if it's the last line, we also fill it out with spaces at the end. So what will be our approach to solve this problem? Basically, what we'll do is We'll keep, you know, picking words. We'll keep track of how many words we've picked and how much space they'll occupy. And then as soon as we pick a word, the next word that exceeds it, we'll go ahead and like up, append the previous three words into a line and add it to our output and then proceed, right? So it's a simple approach. I'm not sure why this is marked as hard, but let's just go ahead and code the solution. So we'll start with our list of string of result, which will be what we will end up returning at the end. Then what we'll do is we'll have a list of string builders, which will be our current words, right? And I use string builder here because we'll be appending the spaces when we need to finally add them to a result. So we'll just have current words as a list of string builders. And we'll also keep track of sum of lengths of these current words, right? So this will represent like among the words we've picked so far for the next line, what are those words and their sum of their length. And so then we'll just set up our loop to go through each word. And here, what we'll try to do is, okay, what if we add this word to the previous one, what will be our new sum, right? So our new line length, if we add the word to the previous one will be equal to basically the sum of the words plus the length of the current word plus the number of words because we need that at least one space between each word, right? So plus current words dot size. So if we already had five words, since we're adding the sixth one, there will be five like spaces in between, right? So this will be the, if we took this word, we'd need at least this much line length. And so if this line length exceeds our max width, right? That means we can't fit actually this. Then what we'll go ahead and do is flush this one to our result. But otherwise, if it can fit, we'll just go ahead and update these variables, right? So in our current words, we'll add new string builder with word. And in the sum of the length of words, we'll just add word.length, right? And that will basically cover it. So now what we'll do if we've exceeded our width, so the first thing we need to do is identify how much extra spaces do we need to add, right? On top of the existing spaces. So basically the extra padding that we'll need, right? And this is extra on top of the single space we'll need anyway, is basically going to be the max width, right? Minus the current, the line length of the words we're gonna flush. So that's going to be the sum of the words right, plus the words.size minus one, right, because the, the there will be one less space than the total number of words, right, because the spaces are in between the words. So our, this is how much extra padding we'll need on top of the, you know, the spaces that we'll have by default. And so then what we'll have to do is distribute basically this extra padding to each word that's in our current list, right? So let's say if we have five words like A, B, C, D, 
and we have like you know five spaces we'll distribute the space right among each possible uh, word right so we will just use like a round robin algorithm to distribute it to the like i minus one or the number of words minus one words because we don't want to add spaces to the last word right as you see here however if there's only one word like here then we do want to add it actually to the last one so what we'll do is basically the number of players that we'll round robin against will be either the number of words minus one right but if there's only one word then it will be one so it will be basically the max of these two right because if there's only one word then this will end up to zero so it will pick one otherwise we'll pick number of words minus one so basically int words to round robin spaces will be equal to the max of this basically this expression over here and now that we have that what we'll just do is loop through from zero to extra padding so we'll basically distribute all this extra padding among the different words and what we'll do is int index for space will be equal to i mod words to round robin spaces right so each time we'll basically alternate in all these different positions and what we'll do is we'll pick uh, we'll say current words dot set at that index or we'll just say current word dot get at that index dot append space right so basically for we'll get the word at that index and append this extra space and we'll do this how many times we need the padding so now we have our padded word in the in the string builder so now all we need to do is basically convert this to a string and add it to a result. So what we'll say is uh, result dot add current words dot stream dot map sb sb dot to string. So this converts all of the string builders to a string. And then what we'll do is just collect these by joining it with a space. Remember, this space is still needed because this is the default space. Here, we've only added the extra padding space, right? Which considered the default spaces. So we still need to add the default space. So now with that, that already fleshes our words. Now at the end, you know, the last words will still be remaining in this, uh, in this data structure, right? So what we'll need to do is at the end, we need to add the last word, but without any um, spaces, right? So what we'll do is int extra spaces needed will be basically equal to max width minus the sum of the words that are in there, actually, and plus the number of words, right? Because there could be uh, more than one word so actually plus the number of words minus one because that's how many spaces we'll need by default and anything other than that minus max with the extra spaces so, and so then we'll just need string spaces is equal to so yeah I've just used this little stream expression to generate um, a stream of spaces and limit it with the number of we need and then collect it joining with a empty string. So this will basically repeat this character extra spaces number of times. And then what we'll do is in our result, we'll just add basically the something like this, which is basically collecting the all the words that are there. Right. And then with this, we'll append the extra spaces at the end. Right. So this will collect the current words, joining them with space. And at the end, we'll append the number of extra spaces and then return the result. So let's run this and see how we did here. All right, I need to remove the little scratch pad down there. 
All right, one thing we forgot to do is after we add it to the result, we actually need to clear it. So we need to reset this one to a new array list and we need to reset the sum to zero. So let's just do that. All right, let's try to run it now. Okay, this needs to be spaces, not extra spaces, because that's the actual string. And okay, this one, we need to do this regardless. So this is not an else case. So whether or not we broke the current word, we need to still do this, right? So if we break the current word here, we still need to add the, the new word, right? Because that doesn't fit. And if we don't break it, we still continue to add it. So that's not supposed to be inside the else block. All right, now it's accepted, let's submit. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.